All right, this is the project for today, guys. Here I have a lanyard for, could be used for anything. This one here is for my camera. And I have another one in silver that I'm using for my drone uh, controller. And we'll start off with a carabiner on each end and a couple inches of cobra weave, followed by a double diamond knot and then about 10 inches maybe i think a foot of round braid and coming up to another uh, double diamond knot and then that goes across the neck is another cobra weave a 12 inch piece that goes around the neck for the uh, makes it feel more comfortable is this beautiful um i don't know what color this would you would call this it's like a, almost like a mauve or a dark brown so i've got two strands um six and a half feet long for the uh core uh the core strands and then the weaving strands are two uh 11 and 11 foot um, of the same paracord for the, the, the weaving. That's as far as the cord is concerned. Then I have two carabiners here, black, that I'm going to put on the ends. And the rest of the supplies is a lighter, a flattener, a needle, a pair of scissors, And then I may use my uh, paracord jig here just to hold things. This is used for uh, making bracelets and what have you, belts and things. But I think I might just use it as to, to hold, hook it on the end here so I can um, hold it back. Okay, I've simply tied an elastic band around the centers of all my um, strands. The reason is... The cobra weave is the, we got a, a um, double diamond knot here and then a foot of cobra weave and then a double diamond knot here again. And I'm going to start actually in the center and go six inches this way and then six inches the other way of the diamond of the uh, cobra weave and work our way to each end. So that's why we have uh, the center tied off like this all right guys I've got two different colors of uh, paracord here the white I'm using as a core let me just tip this up a little bit the white I'm using as a core and the orange I'm using as <clears throat> the weave and I've got a um, Cobra weave here that I'm going to make this um, let me just show you what I'm making and what I'm doing here. This is a lanyard for a camera or your um, controller, your uh, drone controller or what have you. It's got uh, carabiners on the end to hook on. Uh, you can make it come into one if you want, down to one. Um, so it starts off with a carabiner, a little bit of cobra weave, uh, a double diamond knot, and then a round knot for 12 inches, another uh, double diamond knot into transitions into uh, another cobra weave for 12 inches. This part goes around your neck. It's a little bit better on the neck than the round braid would be. Down to another di double diamond knot, transition into another uh, rope round braid all the way down to a diamond double diamond knot transitions into another cobra weave with a carabiner at that end and we have one foot of uh, cobra weave that goes around your neck and then a foot each of um, the um, round 
breed braid and then a couple inches of the final uh, cobra weave down to the carabiner so it's in total 12 inches um, let's see one two three feet three and a half feet and uh, this part goes around your neck so I'm going to show you with two different colors on how this is going to uh, work how it's braided and then I'm going to make one uh, that I'm going to I'm going to make one uh, and make it for for sale and it's started and it is like a lovely dark mauve dark purple uh, I've got the one foot of cobra weave and what you do is you start at the middle and work your way to both ends so you do six inches of cobra weave another six inches of cobra weave this way transition into a diamond knot which transitions into a rope knot which is going to transition I'm not quite finished this one yet transitions into another diamond knot a little bit of cobra weave and then finally the carabiner at the end so this is how much I've got done on this yet I've got the rope uh, the round braid to do on this side along with the um, double diamond knot here rope a round braid to a double diamond and then cobra weave and then finish but to show you how it goes with all one color like that you can't really see how the how the weaves go so I've started this here and I would start uh, and go six inches that way and six inches this way and how this weave works you have two of the center core and two that do the tying and how this works is uh, you can see this one is going down and under and this one's coming up so I usually work you can work from either way but I usually work with the one going down so I take the one that's going down on the right here come back over top of the two center core uh, strands and then take the left one and go over top of the one that you just brought from the right underneath and up through the loop and then you would tighten that up now this one's going down so I would take this one up over top take the right one over top of the left underneath and up through the loop and tighten up and we'll do another one this one go it's right left right left once you uh, get going this goes over top underneath and up through the loop and if you forget where you are it's easy to remember where 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 you are is because you always take the one that's going down you could do the one that's going up but do the one that's up all the time but I'm going down so this one comes up over top the right comes over top the left underneath and up through the loop and again the one that's going down there now to finish this off you would tie a crown knot here so that that doesn't come undone and then proceed to do with the uh, um, double diamond knot all right guys we're gonna tie off the um, cobra weave and make sure it doesn't come undone so you take your cores split them apart take your uh, other two strands and separate them okay let's start with the one facing us and go counterclockwise over top of the next strand then you take the next strand go over top the next strand counterclockwise then you take the next strand and go over top of the fourth strand then you take the last strand and go over top of the first one which is through the loop and that's over top of that strand there okay now you would tighten this all up and you'll find that it makes a nice square knot on top there and that knot is called the crown knot and that locks the cobra weave just like that and that is now can we we can transition into our double diamond knot 
Um, to do a double diamond knot <clears throat> is a little bit, um, it, it's difficult, but if you know what to do and where to go, it, it can be uh, fairly easy. So how this goes is you would take any strand and go over the next one, over this, let's get this back hooked back on here, so I, you would go over this one and under this one and up. So counterclockwise, over one, under one, and up. And this is the hard part. The reason you go up and hang on to this so that you know you've used it. So take the next strand, counterclockwise, over the next one, and under the next one, and up. So over, under, and up. <clears throat> Take the third one, which goes over the fourth and under, under the first one. These three are up. Take your fourth one, these three are up out of the way, go around and this comes over the first one and under, <coughs> excuse me, under the second one. This is the difficult part here. So it's over this one and under that one. Over the first and under the second, up through the loop. And now you'll have four, four strands coming out the center. All right, this is our basic diamond knot. Now we're going to make it look a little better. We'll double it up. We start with a strand going to follow this white strand is going to follow this orange around and going over top and staying on top of the orange so it's going to go down the loop going over top of that orange and we'll get these out of the way and follows that orange back to the center, staying on top. So it's going to come up through this loop back to the center. Staying on top like so. And it's doubling up this strand with this strand. Okay, let's take the orange which is going to, that's why I picked the two colors so you can see what's going on here. This orange is going to follow this white down through here. Down through these two and follow that white. So this orange will go down and going over top of this white. and then following that white staying on top of it get these out of the way and going back up to the center right here okay Now these were the two that I did first, and I did this orange, now we're going to do a white. And this white is going to follow this orange down through these two, going over top of that orange, down through those two, going over top of that orange, and following that orange along and up through these two here hard to see what's going on following that orange like so and now we have these two last leads looks like a ball of mess right now 
but once you figure out what's going on you're good to go we've got these two leads here this one the white one we have done already so it's the orange the orange is going to follow this white going over top of that white down through these two following that white and back up through these two here staying on top of the white and there is our double diamond knot all four cords strands are coming up Let me get this one on the right side and now what you do is tighten all these cords up pulling them one at a time and getting them nice and tight and I'll do that for you here and I'll show you what it's like when I come back Okay, I've tightened up the double diamond knot and you can see that it's nice when you have it's nice when you have two colors because you can see what's going on. There's two cords on each one and the four coming up in the center, which now you can transition into the rope knot or the round knot. And how that goes is you take your two to the right and two to the left. Now you take your top right cord and pass over the one on the left and under, over and under. Take the next one and pass under and over. And that is the start of your round knot. So we'll take the first one, go down behind, up between the two on the left, around the one and back to the bottom on the right. Then take your left, go behind, around the one on the left, right and back to the bottom on the left. Take the one from the right, between the two on the left, around the bottom one and back to the bottom on the right. Take the one on the left between the two around and back to the bottom on the left. The right behind around the one between the two and around the one and back to the bottom on the right. The left around back the right behind between the two around the one and back to the one bottom on the right and it's just a right left right left behind okay now let me just explain a little bit of this here what's going on is I'm pushing up and pulling tight so that this is a nice tight weave here and how you know where you are is you can see the three cords this one here is the farthest one away or farthest one down so that one is next so that one goes behind around between the two around and back to the bottom on the left now that the one on the right is the farthest away so it's behind around between the two around and back to the bottom on the right and now let me just show you what this round weave looks like with two colors it looks nice so we've got your double diamond knot and uh, the round knot the only one that doesn't show the two colors very well is the cobra weave because that one is uh, has a core of the white and um, the orange is just on the outside so there's the weaves that's the weaves that I use the double diamond knot is the hardest one to tie but uh, once you know what you're doing it's it's fairly simple and I would put a carabiner on here now and we find a black carabiner that I was going to use
and this would now connect onto your camera or your um, uh, controller. So that's it guys. What I'm going to do here is finish up the one out of this uh, beautiful uh, mauve purple color here. I'm going to finish this up. I've got one um, double diamond knot here, a rope round knot. I'm going to do another du uh, double diamond knot here and then a short piece of um, cobra weave with the carabiner on the end. So this one's almost done to that end. On this end here, I've, I've still got to do a double diamond knot here and then transition into the uh, round knot with a double diamond at the end and then a little bit of um, uh, cobra weave at the end there. So, this one I'm going to put up for sale once I get it done. It could be for a camera, it could be for anything, a lanyard. This part goes around your neck, fits nice around your neck, and is because it's a little wider than the rope, or <laughs> keeps a little wider than the round knot, um, it uh, doesn't hurt your neck as much. It wouldn't hurt your neck at all. So I, the reason I showed you in the two colors here is to show you what it looks like. Uh, it does six inches. I started in the center of this. Uh, I started in the center here. Went six inches this way, six inches this way, and then your your double diamond knot here. So the reason I showed you in the two colors, just so that you can see better what's going on with the double diamond. My fingers were in the way. You probably couldn't see how that's done, but as you can see, it's doubled, and it's. Uh, a white and an orange, a white and orange, white orange. The whites are on top so that the cords come out the center. If you were to put the whites on the bottom or put them towards the bottom, the cords would come out farther apart. But I needed to get them close together so that you can do the rope or the round braid, not the rope braid, the round braid, and uh, go from there. So once I get the double diamond on this end here, and I'll do the uh, the double diamond here and then the round braid all the way down and I'll come back at you when I'm done that far. Okay guys we have the 12 inch cobra weave ended by a diamond double diamond knot on each end. Now we're going to start the uh, round braid and that transitions into the round braid now because we have four coming out the center. So we'll divide two on each side, we'll take the top on the right and go over between the two on the left and under. The next one will go under and over, bringing the two from the left to the right. That begins our round braid knot. What we'll do here now is take the the top right, go behind, around the two, around the, uh, the left, between the two and the left and back around the one on the left there. <laughs> Let me explain that again. We'll take the one on the left, go behind, between the two on the right, around the one on the right, the bottom right, and back to the left. Here again, we'll take the right, top right, go behind, between the two on the left, around the one, and back to the right, the bottom on the right. Then we'll take the top left, behind, between the two on the right, around the one, and back to the bottom on the left. Take the top right, behind, between the two on the left, around the one on the left there and back to the bottom on the right. And what I'm doing here at the same time here is I'm pushing up and holding these tight. We want a nice tight weave there. Okay, so we'll take the one on the left behind, between the two on the right, around the bottom one on the right and back to the bottom on the left. And how you know which one is next to do is you can see the four cords here 
I have this one is farthest away or farthest down the line so I'll use that one next that goes behind between the two on the left around the one back to the bottom on the right and now the one this top one on the left is the farthest away so I'll take it behind between the two on the right around and to the bottom on the right on the left again and keep pushing up and pulling tight I'll do a few more here and then we can see what this round uh, braid looks like once we get going and I'm going to do uh, a foot or 10 inches or so or of each on each end of this so if you ever get lost and you want to know where you are always take the one that's farthest down farthest away between the two around and back to the bottom the left between the two around back to the left on the bottom the right down between the two around back to the bottom on the right the left down behind around back to the bottom on the left now let me just show you what this looks like this is our round round braid now and that's going to be 10 inches that comes from the cobra weave we did a crown knot which transitioned into a double diamond knot and the double di uh, the cords came the strands came out the center and now allows us to transition to the round all right guys here's the finished product this beautiful uh dark mauve color dark purple man very nice let me just explain to you what what's going on here again it starts off with a carabiner which i put uh, a key a key ring on my camera on each end the carabiner would connect to one side of your camera it goes to a couple inches of cobra weave transitioning into the double diamond knot transitioning into 12 inches of round braid which transitions again to a double diamond knot and transitions again finally into 12 inches of cobra weave again and then finally goes into the other side which is a double diamond knot again transitioning into the round braid another 12 inches into a double diamond knot at the end and finally your two inches of cobra weave again and the last carabiner which would connect to your whatever it is your camera your drone controller whatever it is and the, the 12 inch um, cobra weave here which goes around your neck which feels very comfortable let me just show you what the size is on my neck so I have coming around my neck here man you can't hardly see that can you um, down to the rope braid here down to uh, double diamond knots and then connecting to the camera so it's hanging about the center of my belly okay it goes around this uh, nice cobra weave here goes around the neck comfortable on the neck and the two diamond double diamond knots are here into the round braid down to a couple diamond double diamond knots here again and a couple inches of um, cobra weave again and then the carabiners connecting to the camera and it hangs down on me around my neck down and then I can pick up and shoot and very comfortable on your neck so you can walk around with your camera hanging here now I am going to make 
for drone controllers you can make these two here come together weave them together and coming out to one so you just connect one but then it would be like a loop that goes around your neck this way here you can just undo one and take it off or take it off your neck I'm also going to make um, connect to one side um, a strap that goes around your hand your wrist um, and connects just to the one side and that's it guys it is a uh, three and a half foot uh, lanyard connects onto anything you'd like that has two connectors um, and the distance can be short or long it all depends on what you'd like now this one is going to be for sale if you'd like one please by all means uh, comment uh, add a comment <coughs> get this in the light a little better Uh, put a comment below. I think I'm going to sell them for um, <clears throat> probably around twenty dollars. I think, and uh, that should cover my costs and a little bit of the labor. Here I have a silver one that I'm made for my drone controller. Exactly the same uh, design, three and a half feet long, and I also have. A red one that I made for my camera and it's nice and soft and supple uh, especially once you've used it for a little bit it gets more soft now this paracord is each strand of this paracord is called paracord 550 which means the cords are five they can hold 550 pounds so this thing is super strong there's four cords going down here, four here. There's four cords in the whole thing. So that's that's good for, what, 2,000 pounds <laughs> you can lift with this thing. The carabiners would give out before uh, the cord would. So again, again, guys, if you'd like one of these, please comment below and uh, let me know. I've got lots of colors. This is one color. This one's for sale, like I said, $20. Um, you saw in the video the two colors. You can have four colors, if you like, is the most, um, because it's four-stranded. But um, the four colors would, the two colors really show up nice in the round. Four colors would even look nicer, I suppose. Uh, two colors on the Cobra Weave look nice because then they, they go they alternate uh, left and right uh, with different different colors and uh, four would be even probably better I, I guess that the core is what you don't see in the um, in the uh, Cobra Weave the four colors you would see in the round okay guys that's it we have a lanyard for whatever camp and the length is adjustable you can ask for whatever length you'd like and how many colors you'd like and I can show you what colors I do have available and uh, please comment below and let me know if you'd like one um, this length here this kind of weaving right here is going to be like a $20 this one here is for sale it's a $20 uh, lanyard all right guys we'll catch you all on the next one stay safe be kind be awesome and be outlaws, guys.